Okay, this video is now going to look at making the new project, which is called a single valve cylinder. We can see in our hands here, the first is the main components. We have the cylinder head itself. We have the valve, which can be operated by the handle connected to the cam. And we have a lift here, four millimeters in position. So this is going to be completely machined manually. And the first part we're going to look at completing today in this video is the cylinder head. We're going to complete all the, all the work on the lathe first. So the stages are, make this part is, we complete all the work on the lathe, step one. When that's all completed, all the holes are drilled. We then move into the part and we do all the milling work. Finally, we finish up out on the bench, do all the tack. So we're going to concentrate today on the lathe in this video. And these are the list of tools that are going to require it. So for the cylinder head tool list, you're going to need to get, to get from the store a centre drill bit, a number three or number four. Drill that hole, which creates a pilot hole then for the 9.7 drill bit. And looking at our drawings in your booklet, we have our detailed drawing list here. And this is the cylinder head components, one, two, three views of that component. And with that then on the screen, we can see up here that the first hole we're going to drill 9.7 is going straight through the part. So it's going completely through the part, followed then by distinctive holes with certain depths. So looking at that over here, the 9.7 hole goes straight through the part. And then when that's drilled, we're going to drill then the diameter 16 hole. And that's drilled diameter 16 to a depth of 23 millimeters. So it breaks as far as there. When that's completed, we're going to drill the diameter 20 hole. And the diameter 20 hole is drilled with a diameter 20 drill bit, HSS, with a 22 degree angle. So that's this one here. And on that drill bit is a distinctive mark with 22 degree angle. So it's diameter 20 from this point, and the angle here has been ground at 22 degrees. And that matches the valve itself at 22 degrees. So it sits, in problem, sits into it. So, to start off, 9.7, straight through the part, diameter 16 to recap, to a depth of 22 millimeters, diameter 20, 2 mil deep, and then a diameter 10, 8.7 reamer, to give it the correct fish at the back of the end of the hole, to the back end of the hole down the center here. Followed by then, we're going to bring the part down to its finished length of diameter 40 by 45, and finally then, a big work on the lead, we're going to put a 1mm chamfer at 45 degrees of both sides of the part. So to start off today, get your list of tools ready, ready, ready to go. So the first step is we have to remove the saw cuts from the parts on this side. So you take your turning down tool, position the turning down tool into its holder, and pop it in into position to set the tool height. So check the tool height first of all lining up with the center, revolving center. So once the tool height's been set, you can adjust from here if, if you need to. Put it back in ready for machining. Now as this piece of material <coughs> is about four millimeters in diameter, we're going to offset the top side here by 15 degrees. So we open here, and we open the nut at the back. And then we adjust this down to the angle at about 15 degrees. It was the correct clearance angle as we machine the part, allowing for the swarf to, to, to move for the part. I'm going to leave the coolant off just for video purposes, so it's easier to work with. So put the part in, allowing an overhang about the width of your thumb, which is about 30 millimeters hanging out from the chuck. Tighten it up, pull down the guard, and set our chuck speed to about 1200 rpm. So, start with the part. You're going to face across the piece. So you touch. I'm going to zero my DRO. It's blocking, press the reference button. Zero is that. So you're making a cut here about a half millimeter. You're facing across the piece. To remove those softness. Mm -hmm. Now, you're checking there that your two lights on center, so you're not left with a pit. As you come to the end, you've got no 
it will tip me left. So we can clearly see that the tool height is set up correctly because we've got no little tip left in the centre. And then all our saw cuts have been removed from the part. So that's perfect. With the saw cuts gone from the part, now we're going to start with the drilling process. So you're done now with the turning tool for now. Let's just move that out of the way. And start setting up now this art drilling. You pause. 